radio station. Now, we're going to talk about today, Mom's Got Game, with uh, Pam McGee and her son, JaVale McGee. They air on Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern on OWN, channel 222 if you got, channel 220 if you got Comcast. Now, this past Saturday on the show, Pam was missing spending quality time with her son, JaVale, and she was taking it out on poor Jay. And they were out walking on the beach. And Jay is her Manny manager, in case you didn't know. And they're taking a walk on the beach. She said, just walk with me, Jay. And Jay stops and starts flirting with this lady on the beach. And Pam gets so, so upset. She was like, just take the day off. Just take the day off. Just you and JaVale. Y'all don't want to spend time with me. Just take the day off. Take the day off. And so Jay was like, I'm just trying to get my Mac on. I'm going to still walk with you. <laughs> and she was like, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. So Pam walks away. And then, uh, well, now she told him to take the day off. So Jay goes and get a haircut. So Jay is in the barber chair getting his haircut, talking to the, the uh, barber. His phone rings, and it's Pam. And then he say, I supposed to have a day off. So Pam was like, Jay, I can't find my keys. So he was telling her where to look, you know, for her keys. Look here, look there. She said, not there. He said, look here. Then she's like, they're not there. So they hang up. So he, so the barber and him continues to conversate. Then the phone rings again. And the, the barber was like, that's not your, you know, your wife, your girlfriend. And mm-hmm. she was like, no, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my boss. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, Pam, I'm supposed to be on my day off. What's wrong now? And she was like, uh, she, something else she couldn't find. And he was like, well, if you can't, no, she couldn't find her keys. If you can't find your keys, that means you'll need to go nowhere. And she was like, Jay, where are my keys at? And he was like, bye. So Pam is still missing JaVale. They have such a, let me see how I want to say this, close, intimate relationship. And me and my uh, co-host, we were going back and forth before we came on the air. Now I told Katie that I understand. I have a, bo- I have a boy and a girl. And I understand that They've been together, even when she was in the WNBA. So they spent all of this time together. It was just Pam and her son. And what was your opinion on it, Katie? Well, my my thing is, I I got in on probably the last 40 minutes of the show. Okay. And it was the first time I'd seen it. It's a very good uh, sitcom, uh, which called a reality show. Yeah. I just think that Pam, she's just a drama queen. She is not a drama she queen. She is nothing but a drama queen. She is not She's a, drama a very queen. nice, attractive yes, she lady. Yes, she is. Yes, okay, she is. Who's got a lot going for herself. Yes, what she, she does. needs to do is take some time and find her a man. Well, I agree. I she want needs, her to find her. I want her to find, find her the right, the right man, though. Not just because of who she is, right? But because of who she is, I her agree. personality. You know what I she agree has. Agree on finding her. But the right man. as far as on her son, when you got a a mother and a son, or a mother and a child, and they spend so much time together, and there was nobody else, no no other guy, no girlfriend. It was just them in the NBA. She had Girl, pictures. You got to let these kids go up and live their own but life. She, but he got his own place. She got his but she just all she's asking for and i don't think it's much it's maybe once a week for them to do something together i don't think that's asking a Girl, lot if she had the right man in her life she wouldn't even have that no she time. still will want she still will want us i still want to spend time with my kids I your kids want wanna, do they want to spend that time with you though my son more so than my daughter because she got all her friends and she's doing this today. okay that's but, what i'm saying all she needs to but do I is still find somebody spend time Oh, I'm sorry. We have a caller. Hi, caller. State your name and where you're calling from. Hi. Hi. How are you, Darcy? Who's calling? What's up, girlfriend? Is that Pam?
She just said, though, well, when I he mean, went away to college. What JaVale said, you know, when he was growing up, I was real hard on him. I mean, I was just like real rough. So it's hard for him to, to me, for me to be emotional. Like when I cry, he'd be like, who are you? When, we, <laughs> when I was growing up, you never cried. I'm like, because I was all, always out there grinding. Make sure you have some clothes right. and back and food yeah. on the table. I didn't have time to cry. I was grinding. Ooh, I, I was a single mother grinding. And, and I wanted to make sure that you stayed off them streets. You stayed out of jail. And yeah. you wouldn't get in the trouble, so I was always hard you on you. You did an awesome job, you. Pam. Also, I loved, I love y'all relationship. I love the cast. I love Monique. I love everybody. Your sister. I like everybody in there. I like your Manny. I like Jay. And Jay was like, when you said we talk, he was like, oh, Lord, when a woman says you need to talk. I, it, I love it. It is so down to earth. Yeah, and, and we, and you know, and that's like, that's just, you know, that's my life. I mean, you know, you find it funny because I have always, you know, Earl, Earl Winfrey and I go way back. Earl, no, my family, we always like that because I've always said behind every trauma and trauma, you got to laugh through That's it right. in order to endure it. That's right. Because uh, as single mothers know, when sometimes when, you know, our month is long and our money is short, yep. sometimes we got to laugh. That's right. And say, we're going to make right. it's going to be all right, baby. That's right. So, you know, and, and the reason why I, I do love our show, Mom's Got Game, you see all my girls, those are my real girls. And, like, I can talk about Monique's situation because mm-hmm. when she was going through her situation, yeah. she had to call me to cry on. Say, yeah. girl, we're going to be all right. Yeah. And you still got your swag, Mo. That's right. Be yeah. All right. Girls got yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, I think Katie has a question for you, Pam. Sure, Katie. Okay, I just heard you make a, st- make, made a statement, and you said that when your son was away in college... Uh-huh. That you still called him and you would send him a care package. Yeah. Okay. So while he's away in college, instead of giving him that time to kind of um how do I want to put this? Give give him that 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 kind of time to experience his manhood and be on right. his own, it was yeah. like if you were blowing up the phone calling him all the time, uh-huh. you still were no, giving don't, him the I opportunity. See, that's what you, see, this is what I'm saying. And also, let's understand this, because I've lived all over the world. It is only black families that we feel like we can't embrace our children. Mm-hmm. I, I embrace cultures all over the world. In the Italian family, in the Italian culture, you raise your children become, they become until they become self-sufficient economically, you support mm. them. What I what I represent is the fact that yeah that's my son and we are gonna always have a relationship because in this world he needs to know as a world class athlete as a black man lives in America when the world beats you up I'm your mama right. and I'm gonna always have your back 
Okay. Anything from our show, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let the world define what we do to our black men. We have to and, and, and embrace our black men and understand that even though they're men, they still need that support, especially when you're 25 and you're That's a millionaire. Right. That's because right. of his his chronological age, I always tell him. You don't know what you don't know until you know. That's so right. You can never know as much as I know just because I've been on the earth twice as long as you have. And at the end of the day, when all the females, when all the mm-hmm. agents, when all the wrong. coaches, when all the general managers, when all the money managers come to you begging for money, your mama going to still be That's here right. and say, son, That's they ain't right. right. Or That's son, right. we here for the long haul. I'm here. When JaVale started playing basketball, when he stopped That's playing right. basketball, when he become a world-renowned, World class superstar, I will still be his mother to say, yo, don't get don't get it twisted. Your grandmama, Diane McGee, my mama, clean tortoise for a dollar twenty five an hour. So I stand is like to keep him humble to let him realize that don't get caught up in the hype and don't be reading all your press clips because your grandmama clean tortoise for a dollar. And I think we need more parents like that. I don't think I think our young men wouldn't be locked up and catching cases and stuff like that. What happens is when we release them into the world, they go to the toxic terrorists that that come and and, and, and chew on our young men. Mm-hmm. They teach them they got to be in the strip club. Yeah. Teach them to be a man. You got to run a whole lot of women. Teach yeah. them if you, you a man, you got to be in the strip club. Or Men used to tell me when I would take them off, Javel McGee off an AAU team, because they would fit into his personhood. They would fit into his character and tell him, you ain't this and you ain't that. I said, dude, hold up. Basketball ain't got to do, do nothing with his personhood. That's, That's right. my son. They said, were well, you raising your son to be a punk? And I would say, yeah, well, he's my punk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. I said, I'm not going to allow y'all to, because I, I took it first. I said, this is my man yeah. child. So y'all and you can do whatever y'all want to do with y'all son. But this is my man yeah. child. And I said, this one right here, I'm responsible for. So whether I do anything, when he finally becomes the man that God has called him to be, his wife, he will protect mm-hmm. his family. He will provide for his family. Mm-hmm. His wife will come to me and say, thank you. Thank you for blessing me with a man. You're about to make me cry over here, Pam. I can't be crying. I just want to say this. We as African-American women, don't get caught up in the system that tells us we got to be out there making a whole lot of money. Yeah. Sometimes you got to sacrifice because my first ministry is to that child that I brought into this life. Mm-hmm. That's my first ministry. That's yeah. my feed. That's my product that I got to give to the world. So what you see on the show is, yeah, I'm going to always fight because I want to make sure that I stay close and that he always understands that his mama's going to always support him, going to always have his back, and that he's my son. And there's, there's power in the name. And if you don't remember nothing else, you're going to say he's a McGee. That's and right. I That's right. right. <laughs> Girl, I love that show. I'll be tuned in. Yeah. I'll be tuned in this Saturday. All right. All right. And happy birthday, Darcy. Oh, thank you, Pam. <laughs> I can't wait till you come to Chicago. I cannot y'all, wait. Y'all keep shouting it out. Keep spreading the word. Mom's got game every Saturday at 10 p.m. And we got Wild Wednesday coming up when you'll see the marathon. Wild Wednesday. Oh, wow. Okay. Back to back tomorrow. Make sure you hit the, your, uh, find out on your, um, the cable provider. But Wild Wednesday, well, you got back to back, Mom's got It game. starts tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Okay. You got it first. And that's on the own network too. That's on the own network as well, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So keep spreading the word. All right. All right, y'all okay. heard that from Pam I'm McGee. Thank you for calling in, Pam. <laughs> we love you. Y'all, y'all keep spreading the word. Mom's got game on Saturdays on own network at 10 p.m. Well, well, you heard it here only on the number one internet radio station, (laughs) intellectualradio.com and iHeart. That was your girl, Pam McGee from Moms Got Game with her son, JaVale, talking about the show. So if you guys have not tuned in, if you have tuned in, go to OWN, check your local network. If you have Comcast, it's on channel 220 here. And Dish it's, is uh, 189, Dish I know. Dish is 189, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. If you have a great comment, go to Oprah.com. Look for the tab at the top of the screen. Click on OWN, O-W-N, for those who don't know what to spell, how to spell OWN, in caps. And then click on Mom's Guy Game. Share your comments. Let's keep this positiveness on air. And I am just so excited. I got 